hey what's up you guys welcome back in today's video update here for ethereum we are trading at $1,316 24 hour volume we are down 35% and market cap we are down 1.15% so heading over to this chart I'm going to cover three different time frames one week one day and one hour for immediate short term short term but if we take a look on our weekly chart it's the same kind of candle characteristic that we saw yesterday which is a spinning top candlestick which eventually can go either way essentially going to wait until today close and then tomorrow in the new week and see the um you know characteristics of the movement but what we can see here again as in the last video we can see it initially crossed over of a selling opportunity so price did retrace down the tail so far the low in this week retraced down to 12 18, which again is not really good because if we see the next area of supply and demand here where the price ultimately would want to go to on a bearish angle is 1233 all the way up to leading this node here at 1140 as we see the macd indicator down here that measures momentum um, we do see that the blocks are getting smaller and the volume itself has slightly decreased only by 2000 trades um, but eventually here we can see we are below our zero percent line as we can see the two lines itself our macd line in the blue and then our signal line in the orange is getting closer together and as they are getting closer together once they cross over it is going to essentially turn these green nodes here these green bars into more of a red bar and essentially break this area of support that we have been seeing and then come down to our next price action here around 916 now we can see roughly around 916 was um mid of june so we may essentially see that price in the next couple of weeks to come depending so we are going to be seeing this or doing our updates on a daily to be able to see any price movements going into our day here you guys okay i'm gonna zoom in here because yesterday we ended in a doji candlestick so here's our doji candlestick again indecision with the buyers and the sellers and ultimately it is going to rely on today's close and when we have a doji candle if the price is going to rally upwards in an uptrend um, essentially we need to see the body close above the doji close body itself so if we can see here the close was at 1326 and so far the price right now is at 1315 so if we do want to rally upwards for tomorrow we essentially need this body to come up above this body and it doesn't really look like it is going to but again in hopes there is only a couple of hours left in the day here um, but essentially if we are going to be ending below the body then we are going to come back down and retrace down if i do zoom out i do want to show you some supply and demand here with our volume indicator as we are leaving this area of supply there is this note that's sticking out here at the 1290 maybe the next area where price may hold now a few characteristics here for our daily chart we are considered to be overbought as we see the rsi here is at 97 percent. so anything above 80% is considered to be overbought and be very cautious as price is going to retrace down and pull back down as well. So knowing that we're overbought already and we can see that the MACD indicator is getting lighter, again, price is going to come back down. And so far in today's close or today's lowest price was at 1306. So be very careful. Again, price may come back down even more. And lastly, here is immediate short term of one hour. Our last video, we are able to break through our area of resistance here at 61% at 13.06 here. We have this gorgeous green candle here, ultimately flipping from our red to our green with our MAC indicator. And we also saw a selling opportunity as we saw price advanced. Here's our spinning top candlestick. Again, exhaustion of the uptrend gave us an, a warning, but most importantly, we saw the crossover of our RSI, which brought the price down. And if we can take a look here, in the last two hours or three hours or so, we ultimately broke this trend line. If you guys have been making your charts here, we've got a few candlesticks retracing in this um, trend line that's angled upwards. And where we did fall short is the retest of this resistance line. So if you guys were following the resistance line here, 
here, we were rejected multiple times and we can see that the body of the candlesticks were getting smaller, ultimately resulting in this doji candlestick. And again, if we did close below the actual body of a doji candlestick, it was going to lead in a downtrend. So here is our downtrend. We did break through our 20 moving average. We broke through our 50 moving average last hour. And let's take a look at the price action here. So we can see in the last three um, hours, we switched from the green all the way to the red for the momentum. So it's a bearish rally itself coming all the way down. Now we see that there may be an opportunity as we are considered to be oversold here at the 2% for our K line and 21% for our D line. So as price is coming up, we essentially want the body to come back up to 50% of this candlestick. So if we see the body come back and retest at the 38% and the body I mean here is the actual candlestick body, not the wick itself. So yes, we were able to rally all the way up here as a high at 1317 completion of 50%. However, we do want the body itself to come back at 50%, 38% of our FIB in order to find some type of um, reversal at this end. And then we'll see that crossover of our RSI. But essentially, if we take a look at key areas here with our volume um, profile off to the side, there's really not a whole lot of point of interest. Again, we are moving away from the outskirts of this supply and demand um, area here at the 1323. If we are going to come back down, here's our next retracement here at the 50% at 1306. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for Ethereum, you guys. I think that there is opportunity for a rally upwards as a reversal may occur sometime soon, possibly in the next two or three hours, slightly above. Um, this is the area here that we are going to be retesting once again is the 1319 in the next couple of hours to come. And again, we do need to come back up here to our 20 moving average or even our 50 moving average to really change the reversal from a bearish to our bullish. So that is my video for Ethereum. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment down below, but I'll see you next time. Bye.